In this video we're going to talk about formulas and graphs of functions. And if you remember from the previous video, we really had three ways of representing functions. We talked about uh, representing a function using arrows, where we had arrows going from the things in the domain to the things in the range. We also talked about uh, ordered pairs uh, being used to represent functions. And the last thing we talked about was uh, function notation, where we talk about something like f of a number or g of a number. And that's what we're going to talk about in this video, only a lot of times when we represent functions in function notation, they have formulas to them. And this is probably the most familiar way that you uh, have with, with thinking about functions. So let's look at a couple of examples f of x equals x squared. Right? There's a formula for your input x gives you an output of x squared, or g of x equals 3x minus 4, or k of x equals the square root of x. So notice in part a that f is the name of the function, uh, x is the input, and x squared is the output. And we can write, for example, so for this formula, f of 5 equals 5 squared, which is 25. And notice f of 2 would be 2 squared, which is 4. And f of minus 3 would be minus 3 squared, which is positive 9, right? Minus 3 times minus 3 is positive 9. And f of 0 would be 0 squared, which is 0. Now, if we were going to graph this function, uh, the ordered pair 5, 25 would be a point on the graph. 2, 4 would be a point on the graph, and so on. Okay, minus 3, 9, etc. Okay, now sometimes though we're given, uh, instead of being given the formula, we're given the actual graph of the function uh, instead of give, being given a formula. So let's look at this example. Given the graph below of the function g, so here's our function g right here, uh, find what's g of 2, what's g of 0, and what's g of minus 3. Now notice we don't have a formula for g. Okay, we just have a graph, but we can still find g of 2. So how do we find g of 2? Well, 2 is the input, so if we go over here to 2, what is this point right here? Well, it looks like if I've drawn the graph the way I wanted to, uh, this looks like it's at a height of 1. So this is the ordered pair 2, comma 1. So notice g of 2 would be 1. Okay, now what's g of 0? Well, go left and right till we find 0. Well, 0 is right here. Uh, and notice how far do we have to go up or down to find uh, g of 0. Well, we go up to 4, right? That point 0, 4 is on the graph of the function, so g of 0 is 4. And g of minus 3, notice that goes, that's an x-intercept there, goes right through the x-axis. g of minus 3 is at a height of 0. So g of minus 3 is 0. Now sometimes it's a little difficult to, to tell exactly what it is based on the graph. So for example, if I said, what's g of minus 2? Well, we'd have to go to minus 2 here and see, well, how high is the graph? If we go up in height, looks like uh, it's somewhere between 1 and 2. It's hard to say exactly. It doesn't land on exactly a nice whole number. g of minus 2 is maybe like 1.6 or something like that. So that, that would be an approximation right there. So, so sometimes when you're given the graph, it's hard to tell exactly what it is uh, unless it's a nice whole number like one of these ones up here.